Thank you, Angela. Now we move on to Bill, who is the Solicitor and Legal Advisor to Justice for Families, but also the Solicitor for these cases. Yes, the Angela Cannings Foundation uh, has uh, been set up with a view to helping families um, pick up the uh, pieces of their lives after they have been shattered by a process which um, typically starts with um, defective expert analysis, usually of medical data, followed by an over-readiness on the part of prosecuting authorities, police, um, local authorities, some lawyers, some judges, to accept the validity of those defective analyses. The consequence, of course, has been, uh, in some cases, that there have been <coughs> wrong uh, convictions and has also been, as has been said, wrong decisions made behind the closed doors of the family courts. If you could just pause there for a moment. As far as the criminal cases are concerned, one way or another, some of the appalling mistakes that have occurred in the past have been brought to public knowledge. Now, the experts who are giving evidence in the criminal courts are very often the same experts that are giving evidence in the family courts. And you can be quite sure that they're not in some mysterious way getting it all right in the family courts and getting it wrong in the criminal courts. It's going wrong in the family courts as well, <coughs> and it is causing huge problems uh, for people's lives. And in my opinion, that would be uh, something that would be far easier to tackle if the family courts were open. Despite the valiant attempts on the part of some judges to try and correct the mistakes, it seems to me that the only uh, satisfactory way to try and deal with the situations at the moment is through legislation. And in my opinion, that legislation should seek to achieve much greater openness in the family courts. It should allow parents and other people accused of um, <coughs> abusing their children to have um, non-means tested rights of appeal uh, and legal, <coughs> legal uh, uh, assistance to do that in, in the Court of Appeal as well as in the family courts. And the system for making complaints against doctors um, currently run by the GMC should be completely blown apart and, and <coughs> a fresh system put in place which is much more <coughs> user-friendly for the person who feels that they have got a complaint it should be much swifter, it should be much more effective, and there should be clear parliamentary um, and uh, government uh, responsibility in some minister uh, to oversee the general uh, fairness and the appropriate workings of our system of justice insofar as it relates to the abuse of children. Thank you, Bill. <coughs> now we move on to Marianne Williams. Marianne, you right? Yes, I, I was never never falsely accused of killing my own <coughs> child, um, which I think, in my own opinion, is the worst thing that I can, only can ever be accused of, because the events and the emotions that a, a doctor might falsely accused of ever can set off in a situation like this is absolutely horrendous. And when it comes to the fact that we are to face a criminal trial, nobody can explain what you were put through and try and explain it in words. There, there isn't a word to explain it. Of, oh, there's always a stigma that goes with it by being accused. And when you are falsely accused, when people have children um, which are removed from them, um, surviving children, it can take years, months, maybe sometimes never for that child to be reunited with that parent that was falsely accused. And this is where the family courts definitely need to be more open publicly than 
saying what people are aware because what goes on behind the closed doors <coughs> is absolutely horrendous and words and emotions can't express what parents are put through and it's all kept quiet and it's not right. People need to know what goes on when people are falsely accused. It's absolutely terrible. The emotions, the, the roller coaster events, absolutely everything that somebody has put through words cannot describe it and it needs to be a publicly open, especially in the family codes. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. Angela? Okay. Right, well, um, I mean, first of all, I'd like to actually say thank you to John for, for bringing this in today and to Bill and to everybody that has worked so hard on bringing all these different issues to light. Um, it's, it's been long overdue. They shouldn't have to be doing this, in my opinion. And as we're all just saying here, we've been through the system. We know what it's like to be in that system, to be vilified you know, for something you haven't done. Uh, there's no support for you in and outside um, when you come home. Um, when I was released, um, it was made very clear that things were going to change within the system. But even then, when I was released, I thought, well, why are they trying to change things now? Why weren't things changed years ago? And then we wouldn't have ended up where we, where we ended up. Um, and I still find to this day, um, Ian and Angela and Marianne are very recent cases. And I've been home from prison for three and a half years. And I, I am just so <coughs> incensed with the way this system in our country is still not getting it right and they're not listening to the families you know, that are involved in this. So for this today, you know, they shouldn't have to be doing this. This should have been brought in you know, by the system in our country a long time ago. And I applaud them for doing this today. And also with the foundation, again, it's been left down to the people who have gone through this system, who know what it's all about, having to tell everybody else what it's about, and we will help other families within this foundation to cope with the stress, the trauma, as Marianne says, you're vilified, your whole life goes on hold, you do, you, your life gets destroyed through this, and basically, through this foundation, we will help all the families out there with financial assistance, um, you know, with having to get appeals sorted out and things like that, because the government in this country is not listening. And the family courts, you know, criminal side, again, as Ian and Angela said, <coughs> you know, we were out in the public domain. The family court system, you know, Professor Meadow, all those years ago, giving evidence in, in family court situations, you know, and nobody knows about it, and they, they need to know about it. Um, and so basically, the whole system has got to change. 